Good morning. My name is Faina Yelensky and I am chef owner of Cafe Ulala. What I'm going to prepare for you today is one of our signature dishes. It's a signature quiche. We're going to work from the crust up. We're going to fill it with seasonal roasted vegetables and hopefully we will get to enjoy it afterwards. I'm going to start with the crust. I have a Cuisinart here which is a great technique and an extra helping uh, utensils here that I have. I'm going to add two cups and one quarter cup of sifted flour which I have prepared for us today. Already sifted, ready to go. Sifting you just put into a handheld device and you want to make the flour as fine as possible. And it goes. Now I'm going to add only half of this butter, not all of it. Have no fear, my friends. What we're going to do is we're going to use one and a half sticks of butter. And if you were measuring this at home, this is 12 tablespoons of butter. I'm going to cut it up. The butter is cold. You want the butter cold when preparing this crust. I'm going to throw this in here. There's shortcuts for everything, but the end result will be quite tasty. To my butter, I am going to close our little gadget here. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give it a little pulse. We're going to add a quarter cup of ice cold water. We're going to put the machine back on and as this is pulsating we're going to add one teaspoon of red wine vinegar. We don't want to overwork the dough. When you keep these ingredients in here for too long, the blade in there causes a heat reaction. We don't want it, the dough to be overworked and tough. This is what the dough should look like coming out. I'm going to flip this over and with my hands I'm going to bind these ingredients together until I form a bowl, a bowl of dough. After we form this dough, we are going to put this dough into our refrigerator where this dough will chill for 30 minutes. We have our dough, it's been chilling in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. This amount of dough will probably fill eight to 10 of these molds. These molds, the bottoms should come out so once the quiche is ready, it's uh, easy access to take it out and ready to eat. So I will show you how we do one of these. This is a um, dough cutter or separator. I'll just use one quarter of this dough. So we want to roll it out. Since the dough's been chilled, it's much easier to work with. I personally like to get it as thin as possible without having it break. I'm going to use the inside of this mold to help me to lift this rolled out piece of dough. Plop that back in here. And as I work the dough with my hands, I'm not pressing too hard. Nice and light, just gentle. Nice and gentle. It's going to fold over on the edge and I'll give it a little extra squeeze on the outside of the mold and then I can fix the format nice and easy. The next step to our quiche is important. Everybody likes a little uh, crunch in their crust and different types of textures. So the filling is going to be creamy and what we want to do is have the crust crispy. What I have here are garbanzo beans. You can use any kind of dry packed beans that you can. What we have here is a piece of um, waxed parchment paper. We're going to fill that into our raw quiche dough. We're then going to add these dried beans. And what this technique is called is blind baking. We're going to blind bake this crust. The reason for the weight is what I'm looking for is weight in the crust to avoid any type of shrinkage. If I was to just put this crust in the oven, you would see it shrink down really low, it would leave me with no ends to fill my delicious ingredients on the inside. So I'm going to put this in a 325 degree convection oven. When I take this mold out of the oven, what you're gonna be left with is a beautiful, crisp, tartlet looking crust. Our next step is to put some delicious flavors in here. Now, what I like to do is I like to use two types of cheese. And what I'm going to use for you today is a goat cheese, which is a soft, tangy cheese. At home, you can also substitute the goat cheese with cream cheese. And you're going to lightly crumble and sprinkle 
the bottom of the tartlet. My next step is I'm going to use a sweet Vidalia oven, onion. I love Vidalia onions, especially when you caramelize them. They become really nice and sweet. How do we caramelize it? We use a nice pan with some hot oil. I use canola oil to caramelize my onions and the outcome looks like this. And I'm going to layer the bottom with caramelized onions. I can smell the sweetness of the onions, the crispy crust, the tangy goat cheese. This is going to be delicious. Now, zucchinis are in season, yellow squash is in season. I'm going to take these vegetables and I'm going to roast them. I'm going to take my zucchini and my yellow squash and I'm going to roast these vegetables in the oven. We're going to take these roasted vegetables and we're going to layer the inside of the quiche. I have some uh, jack cheese here. You can use grated jack, you can use gouda, but I like to use a soft cheese and then more of a cheese that will bind these flavors together. The wet ingredients to bind our quiche consist of one cup of whole milk, one cup of heavy cream. If you don't want to use heavy cream, feel comfortable to use half and half. It works just as good. Three eggs. I have three eggs. I will add this to my cup of milk, my cup of cream, with my whisk. I will whisk this together. To my liquids, I will add fresh nutmeg. Nutmeg, so good for you. I love to use everything fresh. I'm going to use my hydroplane, it's called, or my zester here. And I'm going to do this to the count of six. To this, I will add six dashes of Tabasco. One, two, three, four, five, six. To this, we're going to add some fresh parsley. The more, the merrier. I love the taste of fresh herbs in anything that I eat. You can use your best judgment. If you want, just use a couple of tablespoons. I probably put a quarter cup. And now we're going to add the liquid. So what we have left now is 25 minutes in a 325 degree convection oven and we're ready to enjoy. Let's see if I've been successful one more time. Mm. Until next time.